Hey everybody, thanks for watching the VSO Gun Channel. As you can tell, it's looking like I'm going like full gear queer today. Uh, but actually what's going on is I'm reconfiguring some kit here that uh, has been a long time coming. Uh, I will say that uh, I know that you guys have been really asking for a review on the rigs that uh, you guys see us wear for review a lot of times. Uh, I'm sorry, we're not quite ready. Uh, at least I'm not quite ready to do a review on this uh, battle belt system that we've got here quite yet because uh, there's some still some configuration problems that I have. I've got a lot of AK stuff that's coming in right now and I haven't found uh, a setup yet that allows me to move back and forth between uh, the AR and AK platforms readily and have pretty decent uh, uh, features. So I'm still working on that. It, sorry guys, I know it's been a long time coming, but uh, anyway, that's not really the su subject of this video, but I will tell you that uh, this battle belt system is an HSGI uh, rubber inserted uh, uh, padded belt here. So that's from High Speed Gear. Uh, you, you know, you can go check that out. I would suggest this battle belt. It has that nice uh, rubber like I showed that keeps the thing from riding up a whole lot. So that is one thing I will give to you guys. Uh, but the really the, su the subject of this video is this thing right here. So you guys have seen the video that we put out on the fat packs and if you guys have it, then I will uh, go ahead and link that in. But uh, this is an ATAC C carrier. And this was sent to me by a contractor uh, that works with the Tactical Medics Group. Uh, and this is a, basically a rapid deployment uh, cat tourniquet uh, holder uh, for uh, any Molly gear or PALS compatible gear. Uh, so if we kind of crack it open here, I have a spare one right here. This is what it is. Uh, it is a piece of molded kydex that's designed to hold your cat tourniquet in a configuration that's ready for use. Uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I have a plate carrier over here and I know it's not the most ideal place to put it but I'm going to go ahead and slip this thing on the plate carrier and then transfer this cat tourniquet over so you guys can see how it kind of fits in there. So hopefully this view is going to work all right for this. Uh, you know obviously you know whenever we're manipulating tactical gear it's always a crapshoot. I'm going to do my best to try to keep my hands out of the way so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, and this by no means is the most efficient way to integrate uh, this particular uh, cat T system. Obviously you want to have this thing at a, at a point that is readily accessible. Uh, for that I'm going to go ahead and use the inside cummerbund of this uh, Shellback Tactical Banshee here. It is uh, configured for uh, Male on the inside surface here which is a little bit uncharacteristic. But uh, you want to have a flat, flexible platform. Obviously, if I tried to integrate it here with the plates in there, it's a little bit too rigid to do this uh, when, we're, when we're just configuring this in here. So you want to take this thing, flip it upside down kind of like that. Just go ahead and slip it in there and uh, go to the next knuckle. And then uh, go ahead and continue to slip this thing around on the inside. See where this flexibility comes in here? We want to have that. Uh, kind of flexibility to keep this thing in there and then you know you can take it one more level uh, down here if you so desire. Uh, I mean it really depends on the individual configuration of your rig uh, but this thing integrates pretty seamlessly right like that and as you can see that's three levels of pals or, or three levels of male there guys super easy super secure now as far as the cat the actual tourniquet is concerned i'm just going to go ahead and pull this one from my can from my other rig here and as you can see it comes right out um, so i've got this thing kind of pre-folded and there's the instructions that come with the uh with the thing on how to fold it as well as a couple YouTube videos out there on how to fold this thing. Uh, and what it does is it allows you, if I can just kind of back it out here, it allows you to have the thing configured for a large loop here so that, uh, so that you can get it around your leg as opposed to the stock configuration of the cat tourniquet when you get it in any kind of kit. Uh, and I, I think I've got it back together like that. Uh, I think it's now properly folded. I'm not entirely sure if I did that right. Uh, I'm sure that uh, TAC Medics Group will let me know if I did it right or not. But uh, you can see the cat tourniquet here has got this loop here that's designed to lock the, uh, the bar in. We'll just go ahead and take that and slip it right there. And this other part right in there like this. And I like to take the, uh, 
take the windlass here and go ahead and slip it underneath that as well. And you can see that that is pretty secure in there, yet readily accessible should, uh, should you need to deploy it quickly. Guys, that is a really quick look at the ATAC C uh, cat tourniquet holder. Uh, go ahead and check them out. Uh, links in the description for these things. They're pretty cost effective. And remember guys, these are made by guys that are out there doing the shit. So I think that they might uh, have a handle on uh, what works and what doesn't. So that said, thanks for watching the VSO Gun Channel. Thanks for checking out the ATAC-C and uh, we'll catch you guys next time.